This is my router located in the master bedroom. And there is the Wi-Fi repeater slash extender. It is approximately 25 feet away from my router. So again, my router is in the back left of the house in the master bedroom. You know, the four bedrooms, they get perfect signal, but once you get towards the right side of the house, and this is about a 1,700 square foot home, is that we're having connectivity issues. The signal was dropping on my smart TVs and a couple computers that I have throughout the house. But most importantly was my wife's workstation, which is literally on the opposite end of the house where the router is. She uses this to work from home and the internet is a must. And there you can see my smart TV that I have in the other family room. And I do have a computer system set up in here as well. And so I needed to find an affordable solution fairly quickly so that my wife could work from home. And so I purchased this Wi-Fi repeater slash extender from Amazon. It was in the $40 range. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. And now I'm going to show you the difference in speeds from just using the router, using it as a repeater, or using it as an access point, a true Wi-Fi extender. So these first tests that you're going to see are we're going to be using the Wi-Fi extender as a Wi-Fi repeater. Basically, I'm taking the signal from my router. I'm going to transfer it to here, and it's going to boost to the dead parts of my home right here. So Wi-Fi repeater. All right, well, there you can see my wife's workstation. But for this first test, we're going to actually go into the garage where I have myself a gaming computer in the garage. And let's check out the speeds. All right, let's go ahead and just click on the router only, that Swiss bank right there. We're going to connect. All right, we're connected just to the router only. All right, let's go to the website I like to use to test internet speed. I use fast.com. Right there, you can see I'm connected to the router, which is at the other end of the house. And you can see I'm barely getting one megabyte per second. We'll let it run and we'll get the upload speed too. All right, that test is done. You can see right there, download almost two megabytes per second, and then the upload is 3.5. So you can see maybe barely enough to watch a YouTube video as far as speed is concerned. All right, let's go ahead and check the five gigahertz from the router only. Let me connect. All right, so now we're connected to the five gigahertz channel from the router only. Let's see what the speeds are. All right, you can see right there, just a little bit better on the five gigahertz channel from the router only signal six and six. Let's go ahead and check it to the repeater signal. I'm connected to just the router, so I'm gonna go ahead and click it to the EXT or the extender. And this is the, the 2.4, we'll connect to that. All right, let's go ahead and run this test again. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And you can see right now it's already more promising. We'll let this run out and see what our upload speed is. And there you can see 26 down, 22 up. A huge improvement using the Wi-Fi repeater versus just getting the signal from my router on the other side of the home. Let's see what the five gigahertz channel does. All right, the five gigahertz extender. I'm gonna to connect to it. We are connected. Let's go ahead and run this test again. All right, the test is finished, 5 gigahertz. You can see 46 down, 17 up. Again, much better than just from the router. So the repeater is definitely working. Okay, let's do a different test on my 4K TV, actually my Fire Stick from Amazon. Let's run a test on that on the 2.4 gigahertz channel. And let's do a network check. All right, so there's the 2.4 gigahertz. We're gonna run a speed test and see what our download speed is. And you can see right there, the internet speed, 17.5 megabits per second, so not great. Let's go ahead and do the five gigahertz one from the router. All right, we're gonna run the speed test on the five gigahertz channel. I think we're going through too many walls, but let's find out. So a little bit faster at 20 megabytes per second. That is straight from the router. All right, let's switch to the extender, the 2.4 channel. We'll run that speed test and you can see right there Swiss Bank EXT the 2.4 channel we are very close to the extender uh, a little bit better 23 megabytes per second let's go ahead and see if we can connect to the 5 gigahertz channel there it is the Swiss Bank 5 gigahertz channel let's go ahead and check the network let's run the speed test 
and see where we end up. This I'm pretty sure is going to be my best bet at least for the smart TV being connected to the 5 gigahertz channel. And you can see much better almost 50 megabytes per second enough to stream 4k content on my fire stick on my hd tv all right i'm back out here in the garage with my samsung galaxy smartphone we're connected to the router only the 2.4 channel so let's go ahead and see if we can get a how fast we can get right here directly to the router all right 2.4 is finished looks like we got five gigs down almost four up let's go ahead and go to the five gigahertz from the router let's see if we can even connect all right well we cannot even see the five gigahertz channel directly from the router so we'll save the the swiss bank the five gigahertz channel extended let's go ahead and click on the extension of the swiss bank and see how the repeater speed does with the phone let's go ahead and Start the test. Again, this is the repeater now on the 2.4 gigahertz channel. Test is done. Looks like we went from, from 6 to 4 to 14 and 3. All right, it took a bit to connect to the, the 5 gigahertz EXT just because we're so far away and maybe it's my phone. But let's go let's see if I can get any type of speed out of this. And you can see the 5 EXT for whatever reason on my Samsung Galaxy. It's not very good. So at least now I know that if I need to connect my phone to the, to the Wi-Fi. All right, for the first time, I'm gonna try and create an access point. So there's the router. My home is not wired for ethernet cable. So I did the next best thing I can think of. I have a 50 foot extension cord here run over the cat box, over the laundry, over the cat food, through the hallway. And it would only reach to right here. I could not get it to the repeater point for apples to apples. So this will just have to do. You can see right here, I have the ethernet cable plugged into the extender. We're here close to my smart TV. I've already got it set up. Let's see what the 2.4 gigahertz channel can do. Let me go and run a test on it. And let's see what we got. And you can see right there, almost 60 megabytes per second, which is about uh, 10 megabytes faster than the repeater speed because we have the extender really close by. Now, of course, I don't have the best router in the world. It is five plus years old, but you can see it is working great as an access point, but there is no way that myself or my wife would let me have this wire out here. Well, there you have it. There's my non-scientific version of showing you what a, a Wi-Fi extender slash repeater does. But I think for the general public and for the majority of people, they're probably doing what I'm doing. I'm just using it as a repeater, not an extender. I guess the terminology, I'm still not clear on it. But if this video helped you, uh, make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video, folks. Peace.